Wizards of the Lost Kingdom is a 1985 Argentine-American sword and sorcery film written by Ed Naha and directed by Hector Oliveira. It stars Bo Svensson as Kor the Conqueror, Vidal Peterson as Simon, and Tom Christopher as Shirka. The film is one of ten that Roger Corman produced in Argentina during the 1980s, beginning with Deathstalker in 1983. The sequel Wizards of the Lost Kingdom 2 followed in 1989. In the peaceful kingdom of Axahome lives the teenage boy Simon, son of Wolfric, the king's court wizard. The evil sorcerer Shirka starts a coup, aided by the king's wife, killing the king, and imprisoning the princess, Aura. Before he is slain by Shirka, Wolfric teleports Simon to safety and gifts him his powerful magic ring. However, unbeknownst to all, Simon loses the ring during his escape. Simon teams up with the warrior corps to free the kingdom and rescue the princess. After narrowly escaping one of Shirka's insectoid creatures, they make camp for the night. Seeking help to defeat the evil wizard, Simon summons long-dead legendary warriors from their resting place, using his powers to resurrect them, but only provokes the reanimated corpses into attacking him before they return to their graves. Kor and Simon stumble upon the cottage of the hobgoblin Hurla, which is attacked by lizardmen. Simon uses magic to defeat them. The hobgoblin afterwards joins forces with Simon on his quest. On the way to the castle, Kor is then captured by Cyclopses to be wed against his will or eaten, though he is rescued by Simon. The next day, while at a waterfall, they notice a woman drowning. Kor attempts a rescue, only to discover she is a naiad and the guardian of the river. They have passed her test of heroism, allowing them to go further, reaching the castle. Meanwhile, Shirka has imprisoned the queen, usurped the kingdom, and hypnotized the princess to make her his bride. Returning to the castle after exile, they release a group of townsfolk from prison, leading to a huge battle outside. Simon, having retrieved the ring, and Shirka face each other on the towers using white and black magic, where the latter is slain. Simon and Aura are crowned the new king and queen of Axahome. Kor departs, looking for more adventure. The film reused a large amount of stock footage from Sorceress and Deathstalker. Ed Naha later recalled, I don't think this movie was so much shot as it was beaten to death. When they whittled it down to what was useful from the footage, it only ran 58 minutes. Now Roger had done a lot of sword and sorcery films, and so he told a couple of the editors to pull all they could from them and edit that footage in. So now the finished movie has a 15 or 20 minute prologue that has nothing to do with rest of the film. Wizards of the Lost Kingdom received a mix to positive reception from critics. Who consider it a lighter and softer improvement on the Roger Corman Barbarian films of the 80s. In 1989, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom was followed by a sequel, Wizards of the Lost Kingdom 2. Ed Naha stated, three years later I'm at a wedding reception for a friend who still works for Roger. And Roger's there. So we're chatting and kidding around, and I said, ah, man, remember that Wizards of the Lost Kingdom movie? And he said, oh, you know, that did very well in video. We filmed a sequel. In April 2017 Wizards of the Lost Kingdom and its sequel were both featured on the 11th season of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Thanks for watching.